What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In this video, we are going to be doing a get ready with me while we try out some new makeup. I have some new, new products to show you guys. And then we're also going to be revisiting some new releases. When I asked you all on my Instagram, what kind of look you wanted me to create for this video, a lot of you guys were saying you wanted a day to night summer look. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you guys want to see me play with some new makeup, hear all of my thoughts and see the look that I create, then keep watching. If you like this video, friends, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophia. I am a complete luxury beauty addict and I upload videos just like this one every single week. In addition to a lot of new makeup reviews, favorites videos, will I buy it style of videos. So if that is your jam, hit that subscribe button to join our fam. And as a quick reminder, friends, I always link all the products that I feature in my videos, along with all of the shades in that description box down below. So if you're wondering, what product it is, what shade it is. It's all in the description box. I still get lots of questions. So that's a quick reminder. And I do earn a commission if you shop through most of my links. So thank you so much to those of you who have supported my channel through shopping through my links. Okay, party people, let's get into it. We're clipping the hair back. So as I mentioned on my Instagram, I asked you guys, what kind of look do you want me to create? And so many of you, oh, hi, Minnie. And so many of you said you wanted a day to night summer look. And I actually really like that idea because especially in the summer, I don't really spend a lot of time indoors if it is a nice day. I will do my makeup at the beginning of the day and that's it. Whether I'm going to work or I'm just kind of going out on a weekend day, I'm not coming back and like washing my face and redoing my makeup. So I need makeup that lasts. So that's kind of what we're gonna be focusing on today. Makeup that's beautiful for the summer, that's going to last all day. And then I'm also gonna show you guys a little tip for how you can kind of take the makeup in tonight and kind of change up your look. So let's get into it. The first thing that I'm gonna do, friends, is I am gonna prep my skin with the RMS Supernatural Radiance Serum. I've been using the medium shade and I love it so much. It kind of makes my skin a little bit tan. I did already put a pretty thick layer of sunscreen on. I always do that, especially in the summer if I'm going outside. I'm just gonna be using this because I like the way it looks and it gives a little bit of extra sun protection. So I demoed this I think maybe in like a recent favorites video, but I have been using the medium shade a lot and it just gives you a nice amount of moisture. It preps the skin. And like I said, it gives that kind of like radiant tan look. I still like the light shade. It just kind of depends on my mood and the look that I'm going for. It gives such a nice radiance to the skin. And it also means that I don't have to use as much foundation, I can go in a little bit lighter in that regard. So over the weekend, I picked up this new foundation from Clay de Poe. This is the Radiant Cushion Foundation Dewy. This isn't brand new, but it came out earlier this year and it is new to me. I've been dying to try this because I've heard it's really good. I got the shade B10. It's a perfect match for me. And just like any other cushion foundation, it comes kind of like in this sort of component where you open up the little chamber and inside you have the cushion foundation. Sometimes I use my own brush and I just kind of forego this because I get a little bit impatient, but honestly it works really, really well. I also like the fact that it has this little curved part at the top because it means you can kind of like contour around your face, around your eyes, around your lips. And as the name would suggest, this is going to be a pretty dewy foundation. I like something a little bit lighter and moisturizing for the summer. I know that's not for everybody. We're gonna set this in a second, but I just wanna show you guys the sheen and the texture of this before I set it. It's extremely radiant. I really like their cream foundation, the Radiant Cream Foundation. It's so good, but that one is a little bit more full coverage. This one has more of like that dewy texture. I also just wanna point out, friends, that I just got this. I've only used it twice before. So I am going to continue to use it. And probably after like a couple of weeks of me testing it, I will do a fully dedicated review letting you know if I recommend it because it is a very expensive foundation. But my first impressions are that it's super hydrating, pretty decent texture, like covers up all of my discoloration and rosacea. It's very blurring. I, I actually really like it. That's my first impression. But I want to test it out under a bunch of different conditions. So here is the beautiful blurred lightweight texture and coverage that we have for this summer day. I wish it was a better day today. It's pretty cloudy, not gonna lie. 
I wish it was nicer weather, but that's okay. I'll take it. It's warm. I live in Boston. Now for concealer, this isn't new, but it is new to me. This is the Chantecaille Le Camouflage Stilo, and I am using shade number two. I recently got this in the Sylvie sale, so I finally picked this up because I was curious how it compared to the Clay de Poe. It's really good. I really like it. I think I might like this maybe better than the Clay de Poe. The Clay de Poe concealer is a little bit thicker, and so I feel like this comes out of the little stick better. Does that make sense? It's a little bit easier to apply. If you're deciding between them, I think if you want something that is a little bit more moisturizing, I would go with the Chantecaille or just go with whichever one you can get maybe like a better price on. See how nice and like blurring and like hydrated that looks. By the way, if you are new here, I do film everything in natural light. So I try and give you guys the most accurate representation of what this stuff looks like. So as I mentioned, friends, we are going to set this makeup. This is okay if I'm just you know, sitting at my computer doing Zoom calls, working from home, kind of like an average work day. But if I'm going into the office or if I'm having a long, you know, day to night, summertime kind of look, I do need to set this because it is rather dewy and I wanna get a little bit more longevity. So I'm gonna be setting my makeup today with these powders from Florisys. This portion of the video is in partnership with Florisys, which I'm very excited to announce. At this point, I've been testing their products for, I guess what would be a couple of months now, and I'm very impressed. I know a lot of you guys have heard of this brand, but if you haven't, they are a smaller brand that is based out of China. And what I think is wonderful is that they kind of combine the traditional Chinese traditions, Chinese makeup aesthetics with modern skincare and technology. So it is kind of a combination of makeup and skincare. So we're gonna be using a couple of the powders today as I create this look. We're gonna set the makeup, we're gonna use them for blending. All of the powders I wanna mention are infused with nourishing flower essences. That's kind of what they do with most of their products. And I also wanna mention that they are talc free. I'm gonna kick things off with the Flawless Jade Breathable Setting Powder. So this comes in a loose powder version and it also comes in a pressed powder version. I am gonna be using both of those, but I'm gonna start off with the loose one just to do kind of like the general setting of the face. Let me show you guys a close up of the packaging. It's very beautiful. I love all the floral accents. And then this is how it opens up. So it's very secure so you don't get powder all over the place. So you twist it open like this. The compact pops open. It comes with this plush little powder puff, which you can pick up. And then just like the Clay de Peau Cushion Foundation, it has a little chamber that pops open and reveals the powder. And what I really like is they have this little net here to kind of trap the powder. And when you gently tap on the little net, then you can kind of pick up just the right amount of powder. This is extremely lightweight. We're just gonna do a nice, light setting so that we can get kind of like a airbrushed look and have the makeup set all day. So first I'm just gonna like gently tap in the puff. I'm gonna show you guys with this dewy foundation just how much we can kind of like naturally set this. It just does a good job of gently toning down the shine blurring the skin. It kind of adds like a little bit of a filter, if that makes sense, because I know it's hard to tell because it's so lightweight and it doesn't have a cast or anything, but it does have blurring capabilities. It has a breathable silk protein. It has moisturizing and nourishing water lily extract. So there's a lot in here. You really only need a little bit to set the face. So here is what it looks like with no powder. See how dewy that is? It's a little bit shiny. It's a little bit shiny for my preferences right now. And then this is the side with the powder. It doesn't look dry. It's just like nice and set on the face. So let me get this on the other side of my face and we will proceed. So there you have it, friends. This is the powder all over my face. I also wanna mention before I forget that Florisys recently released this powder in three deeper shades. So they are expanding the shade range. All skin types can use this. I have dry skin, by the way, for those of you who are new here. If you have oily skin, this is gonna be something that you can use on the daily. And if you have dry skin like me, this is gonna be great for kind of toning down, dewier foundation 
conditions or if it's going to be hot outside, something like that to really set your makeup. In fact, let me show you the pressed powder version of this before we move on. This is what it looks like. And I want to open it up and just show you guys. I think it's easier to see in the pressed powder version just how blurring and light reflecting this is. It almost looks pearlescent, but it is a translucent powder. And this is the kind of thing that I would use if maybe I have a more matte foundation, I don't want to set my entire face. So I'll take a little brush. This is that new one from the Sonya G Fundamentals face set that she came out with. It is called the Worker L and I'll just kind of dip the brush in and I will set just the parts of my face that I need. Foundation never wants to stick to my nose. So I usually go in on the nose there. And you also can go and kind of set the eyelids because we are going to go in with eyeshadow in just a second or even right underneath the eyes because it does give that kind of blurring effect to the under eyes. I don't have a new bronzer to test out. So I just popped on my Tom Ford bronzer in the shade Terra. This is the one that I've been using just kind of like on the daily lately. And then I also use the Westman Atelier Face Tray Stick in the shade Biscuit just to contour a little bit. I also filled in my brows a tiny bit with the Kosas Brow Pop. I have them recently microbladed, so I don't really need to fill them in all that much. Now we are gonna move on to the blush and I am going to use the new Chanel blush from the Fall 2023 collection. I recently reviewed that for you guys so I can link it down below. I decided to go with this one, the Beige et Coral. It's kind of just like a nice summertime coral. And I'm gonna be using this refer brush. This is the refer number two. This is the little fan brush that they have because I just wanna show you guys, you can make this look very subtle by going in with a wispier brush. I think by the time this video goes live, they might still have their sale going on, by the way. So I'll link down below any of the refer brushes that I use. It's kind of like a buy one, get one deal. I got a couple brushes in the sale and they just arrived the other day. So I'm just gonna gently fan that on for like a nice summertime look. I like cream blush for summer, but if it's a day to night kind of look, I gotta go with a powder blush because <laughs> The cream blush like probably isn't going to stay on my face for that long, depending on the blush, depending on the blush. A lot of people were saying that these are not very pigmented when they saw the swatches. Watch my review guys, they're pigmented. I mean, I'm using a fan brush. Oh, I love this beautiful summertime terracotta. It's not quite brown, it's not quite orange. It really is kind of like that terracotta corally shade. This is a good transitional look as well into fall because we're kind of using these like warmer tones, you know, terracottas, oranges, burnt browns, those kinds of things. So I feel like this is a good late August type of makeup look. Using the same brush, I'm going to go into the Dior Coral Cruise Highlighter. It's still available, guys. As far as I know, it is still available. You got to get it before it's gone because it's such a nice highlighter or luminizer. It's called a luminizer. It's such a nice luminizer to pair with all of these fall, summer and fall blushes, just like the Chanel one. And we're not going to overdo it today. We're just going to go in with a little bit. See that? Ugh. I just love it. Next up, friends, we're going to dive into the eye look. I am going to be using another powder from Florisys. This is the Florisys Yurong Pressed Powder. Let me show you some close-ups of this. I am using the shade Z20. Now, this is going to be more like your traditional tinted press powder. So if you like something that has a tint, this is probably going to be best for you. Just like all of the other powders from Florisys, it comes with the little puff. Because this is tinted, I really like this for kind of setting my eyelids and especially for blending. Blending around my eyeshadow look to get a nice like diffused professional effect. And also if I do have more pigmented blushes, I'll take a powder like this and once again, I'll use it to blend around just like the perimeter of the look. So to start off, I'm going to take a wrapper number 16, just a little crease brush, and I'm gonna use that to prime the eye because I am gonna go in with kind of like a one and done type of shade in just a second. And I don't want this to crease. I want like a nice blank canvas. And because it's tinted, it also kind of helps to cover up those little like veins and stuff that I have on my eyelids. So it's like nice and 
smooth and perfected. I was taking a look at the ingredients for these powders and I noticed this one is pretty good for sensitive skin as well. Some of the ingredients that jumped out to me were things like Chinese ground orchid, which is called Baizu. There's also lotus flower. There's also peach blossom to fight dullness. Now for the eye look, I am gonna be using one of the new Shantakai eyeshadows. These are the single shades that came out in the Wild Mustang collection. I told you guys, I wasn't gonna buy this collection. So many of you asked me to pick something up from the collection to test, so I did pick this one up. I actually went to Saks Fifth Avenue over the weekend and I was playing around with these. And you know what? I think that these are a little bit smoother than the ones from the permanent collection. If you pick these up, you gotta let me know if you agree because I've told you before, I'm not super impressed by the Shantikai single shades, but when I was swatching this, I actually thought it was really beautiful. So let me show you guys a close up of the cute little packaging as a nice little Mustang on the front. And the shade that I picked out is called Pinto. This is the one that stood out to me the most. The other shade, the other shimmer shade in the collection, I believe it's called Roan or Rowan. And that one is a little bit more on like the nudie side. This one is really pretty because it has a little bit more sparkle. And it also, I don't know, it's just an interesting shade. Like it's not quite a nude, it's not quite a purple, it's not quite a mauve. It sort of has a bit of a shift to it. So let's get it on the eyes. You gotta tap off your brush because they are rather sparkly. And I'm just gonna do a nice neutral one and done to kind of go with the rest of the look. I mean, look how shimmery it is. I take back what I said. I think I finally found a Shantikai single shade that I actually like. I tested this out for the past two days and I really like the way that it looked. I don't, I didn't get like a ton of fallout from it either. Like when I swatched it on my hand, I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more glittery on the eyes, but no. Do you see how it's kind of like a shift between the soft mauve, but also a nude? I think it does go nicely, even with both of the blushes in the Chanel collection. I think that this could definitely, definitely work. I'm using a refer number three to just apply a little bit of that to the lower lash line. I do like this shadow, friends, but I also wanna call out the fact that it is insanely expensive. I was actually thinking I would pick up both of the shimmer shades because so many of you wanted me to review them once I said I wasn't going to, but these are legit like $50 each. Oh my gosh, is it $50 good? Probably not, but if there is like one single shade you're gonna pick up from Shantikai, I do think that this is one of the better ones. So I don't regret it. It is like a nice everyday type of shade, but I do, I stand by what I said. I do still think they're rather overpriced. Using the Fluorosis Huron Tinted Press Powder, I'm using a refer number 13. And as I mentioned, I'm just using that to blend around the look and get kind of like a nice seamless line. You could also use this. And what I often will do is I'll just kind of like snatch the eye up here to create a lifted look. And that's the benefit of using the tinted version, I think. It just kind of adds a little bit more coverage so you can blend it up. I feel like I wanna add a little bit more eyeshadow, so I'm gonna go into the new Chanel Byzance palette. This is the Parure Venetienne palette that I reviewed for you guys. I'll link that video down below. And I think I'm gonna mix the Chantecai shade with the gold from this palette. Ooh, I love that. I love a soft mauve or just like purple and gold in general. And I feel like it kind of ties it to the blush a little bit better. Don't get me wrong, I like a one and done, but I also like an inner corner highlight. So that's why we're going in with the gold shade. Beautiful. Okay, let me get some mascara on and then I'll be right back so we can do the lips. So this is the look that we have so far with the mascara. I just popped on the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions in the shade Crystal. It's just like a dark brown, very pretty. This was gifted to me by the brand, but I've purchased this product so many times. I really like it for summer because it's very, very long wearing. It does not smudge because it's one of those tubing formulas. So I really like it. I'm a tubing formula mascara kind of girl. Next up, we're gonna get into the lips. I'm excited to show this one to you. This is one of those new shiny liquid lipsticks from Dior that you guys saw me talk about in my past or yes. And so many of you guys asked me 
to review this formula so I had to pick up at least one shade for this review so I can kind of show you and give you my thoughts. I did test this out over the weekend and I definitely have some thoughts. So let's get this on my lips. The actual name of this, by the way, is Rouge Dior Forever Liquid. And the shade that I have is called Nude Touch. It's just like a very basic nude. I couldn't really decide which color I wanted. So I just went with the basic nude. And let me show you guys the applicator. It's this really interesting pointy scoopy shape. So it does pick up quite a bit of product. So you're gonna wanna be careful, maybe kinda of like just scrape it on the top here so that you don't get too much on your lips because these are potent. I mean, look at the shine, look at the shine. Oh, I'm gonna get it a good layer on my lips. Because the applicator is pointy, you don't really need like a lip liner. It's very precise. It does have a pretty strong fragrance. It smells like the Dior skincare. It doesn't bother me but it might bother some of you. All right, so here is Nude Touch on my lips. It is a little bit of a warmer nude. In the collection, they also have Nude Look, which is the shade that they make in like every single formula. That's more like a classic nude with like a pinky undertone, kind of like a Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. But I went for the slightly deeper warm tone nude. Look how beautiful and rich and shiny the color is. They are not super transparent they are pretty saturated and let me tell you friends i i'm in love i've only tried this one shade i haven't tried the deeper shades but this i'm absolutely obsessed i'm gonna have to test out some more colors for you guys so comment down below and let me know which shades you want me to test out these last so long i don't even know how i don't know how they last so long they're not a lip gloss they are a long wear liquid lipstick even after coffees even after meals it was still there like the shine kind of goes away after a couple hours and after maybe like eating something but the color is still there like you can still feel it on your lips it's incredibly hydrating they don't dry out if you're someone that's always kind of like intrigued by the thought of a liquid lipstick and you want the longevity on a long day to night summer look like we're doing today then I think you're gonna like this because they're super duper comfortable and hydrating. They don't emphasize, at least I don't think that they emphasize the lines on my lips or on anybody's lips. So I'm very impressed by these. These remind me of one of my favorite lip formulas, which is from Lancome. It is the Lancome L'Absolu La Curs. I don't know why, but it kind of seems like they're discontinuing those. They're really not promoting them throughout the brand. So I'm really excited that Dior came out with these because it is a very, very similar formula where you get that kind of lacquered effect and it clings to the lips somehow and it lasts and the color stays, but it doesn't dry out. So yeah, this is like an A plus for me. I need to try out some more colors, but my first impressions after testing this out over like a couple of long days is that I absolutely love it. Unfortunately, friends, I am gonna take this beautiful lip color off because I wanna show you guys how I would take this look from day to night. One of my favorite ways to do that is kind of like what we did today to keep the eyes simple because I'm not gonna redo my eye makeup. So what I like to do is I like to carry a more pigmented or maybe brighter or deeper lipstick with me in my purse. And then I can use this to kind of touch up my blush and of course to use it as a lipstick and that's gonna sort of take us in tonight. So the lipstick that I picked out today is one of these soft matte lipsticks from the new Prada Beauty collection that I reviewed for you guys. I did pick up three new shades. I'm gonna be doing some more swatches in future videos, but I decided to pick out one of the shades that I haven't demoed so far to show you guys what it looks like. This shade is called Auburn. I'll show you some swatches of what it looks like. Beautiful late August, late summer, transitioning into fall type of color. So let me take off the Dior Lippy and then we will proceed with this one. The other nice thing about these little concealer pens like the Chantecai one is when you are on the go, you can kind of just like pop this in your purse. I actually have the Clé de Peau one in my purse right now and you can use it to touch up your makeup. So I just wiped off the liquid lipstick from Dior and I put a little bit of the concealer around the mouth. I'm also gonna go in with the Jade Flawless Setting Powder from Florisys. And this is what I would use to touch up any shine that I might have on the face that has kind of, you know, if I have any like natural oils that have come out throughout the day, I would use this just like I was demonstrating earlier to kind of touch up the look, set the makeup, to go in with the lipstick. I'm going in with the Prada lipstick. I'm gonna first do it 
just on my cheeks. If I was on the go, I would use my fingers, but I have brushes right here. I'm gonna use this BK Beauty brush and see how it just kind of amped up the blush look a little bit. If your blush fades, just use whatever lipstick you have in your purse. Now I'm just gonna go in on the lips. The nice thing about these soft matte ones is that you can put on just a little bit and create that kind of like blurred lip effect, or you can go all over the lip and get something a little bit more bold, but they're very comfortable. I've really been enjoying them. Oh, they're so creamy. I love it. I want more shades, but I feel like I have enough for now. <laughs> wow, so this is Auburn at full opacity. I love a good warm tone red. I decided to just go for it and do the full red lip. I love the way that it looks on the cheeks as well. I think it really ties everything together. So this is the final look, friends. Hey friends, I just wanted to pop in here at the end of the workday before the sun goes down to show you how the makeup wore throughout the day. I'm actually heading to a concert right now, so perfect time to actually test out long wear makeup. First off, the combination of the dewy foundation and the powders, mm, look how good it looks. Hasn't worn away hasn't dried out, but it's still there. It hasn't faded. There's no like streakiness or patchiness. I really like this combination. I'm gonna continue to test this out, but I just wanna show you some close-ups before the daylight is gone. I also wanted to mention that the Shantakai single, I don't, I don't know, I don't see any creasing, but more importantly, I don't have any fallout. And that really surprises me because when I swatched this eyeshadow, it did look very shimmery and glittery on my hand. So I thought there was gonna be a lot of fallout, but it's actually very finely milled and I think it looks great. So I really like it. So I think all of this was a win. Obviously I need to reapply my lipstick, but I think that the wear test is a huge, huge success. So I just wanted to show you that at the end of the day. And yeah, hopefully it'll last for another couple of hours. Let me know what you thought of these products. Have you tried any of these and how are you getting along with them? We need to know. Also, let me know if there are any other kind of like concepts that you want when I do trying new makeup videos just like this. What types of looks do you want me to create? I will definitely read through the comments and take note of those. Thank you so much to Florisys for partnering me with part of this video. I will have linked in the description box where you can get all of these products along with the shades that I tested. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.